Good morning, you guys. Happy Vlogmas. This is going to be Vlogmas Day 11. I popped in the car. I've seen a few people film in their car before because it's the quietest place in the house. And I'm like, you know what? Let me do that because my house is always so loud. And I just really wanted to take this moment. Just say how thankful and grateful I am. I had my husband read the comments that you guys left on that video and he was just he almost started crying himself it was like wow that is so sweet you guys are just above and beyond the kind but i just wanted to say how like blown away the kindness almost feels undeserved everybody's going through something whether it's a loss of a loved one i think that's the hardest during the holidays or whatever it is and to still be that kind literally speechless again i'm not that great at saying how I feel verbally but just know from the bottom of my heart like the kindness I was blown away like just thank you guys so much Eloise is coming in the car <laughs> this did not last that long so I'm gonna be like where are you oh she's not in the car <laughs> since I'm in here it's like might as well sit here and chat a little bit but we lost our power early early in the morning it's been raining all day all night and it's still raining and should be probably raining all day so, so much for the garland. I'm going to have to wait for that pine to dry out. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But around 4 or 5 o'clock, the, like, everything in the RV went out other than there were, like, a few lights. Everything just went silent. So, the power went out. We do have solar panels that my husband installed before we started our RV journey, which have been really, really helpful. But the, usually when the power goes out, the inverters kick in. But there was just such an overload of like we had the electric fireplace going the dehumidifier the christmas tree and just so much stuff going on at once that it wasn't able i was like teasing my husband like oh your solar panel's not able to keep up <laughs> we tease each other a lot we just have that kind of a relationship in like good fun but yeah so our power went out and i just stayed up since then the kids eventually fell asleep i made my morning cappuccino and then i eventually ended up falling asleep once the kids woke up so i fell asleep on the couch for like a little bit and we just woke up so we're getting like we had an early start to the day but now it's like a late start because it's basically 11 o'clock and we're actually now finally starting starting our day so power is all good everything is all good i just have my keys in the first so that's why i took it but i'm gonna go back in the high house now let's get this vlog started my daughter wanted a smoothie so we'll do a smoothie and i want to share about a waffle recipe i was gonna this is the waffle recipe that i shared in the video that i deleted i did the nails the lashes and all that um, and I shared about the best waffle recipe that I personally have found. We have a little mini waffle maker just because we have mini appliances right now in the RV. So I'm not sure how this is going to work if you have like a Belgian waffle maker or anything like that. But I have found this to be such a delicious waffle recipe. The, I didn't come up with it. I found it on Pinterest. It's a buttermilk waffle recipe. And it does call for baking soda and baking powder. I don't have baking soda but I do have baking powder and I feel like it's just fine without the baking soda and actually sometimes baking soda can add a little bit of like a bittery type taste to it and I feel like it's just fine without the baking soda so let's go make some breakfast together it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present that I espresso shots and I'm gonna make mine and I'm gonna use my little RV mug how cute is this this is actually from Etsy I follow this one girl on Instagram and she had this mug and I was like oh my goodness that is so cute where did you get it I need it and they don't sell it anymore but you can find it secondhand from like Etsy and Poshmark and things like that I thought it was so fitting tomorrow it is Christmas Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself. 
I did my makeup and I thought I would sit down and show you guys what's inside of the Lashify advent calendar. There are nine days of goodies in here. I did already open it up and peek what's inside every single drawer because I wanted to do an Instagram Reels. This retails for $88. And I will say from first impressions, I was a little bit disappointed in some of the items in here, especially considering the fact that they're flavor boxes where they had, I can't remember how many Gossamers for a very similar price. I think they had one for like around the $80 mark and then one for the $99 mark. That one I feel like would have been way more worth it because you're getting essentially volume type lashes for like a little over $8 a piece. There are some items in here that I'm kind of like, yeah okay i wish it was something else but anyway nonetheless let me show you guys what it's inside so like i said there's nine days of lash goodies and it opens up like this just like little cardboard drawers so in the first one there is a a plus a baby lash in a plus 0.6 and i'm not sure i've never seen this before but they're like loose lashes or if you can see them in the cartridge so they're not in an actual lash by cartridge like you're used to but they're kind of loose in here and they're six millimeters so for someone like me i feel like i could use a six millimeter especially in the inner corner so these will will be useful for me but for someone like my sister she definitely like she doesn't even use eights let alone sometimes tens so that's number one number two is kind of the same thing but instead of an a it's a c in six millimeter so i don't know how many are in here but there's like a few six millimeter c's in there drawer number three has these two right here there's a mystery lash which i'm not sure what this is and then there's a i think this is a tulip in 12 millimeters in the color mink so that's really nice because i did want to try the tulips the mystery one looks like it might be a plushy or a fluffy something along those lines drawer number four is just like a plain black scrunchie i feel like i would have much rather preferred uh like a gossamer in there especially considering the price point but and then drawer number five is also a black scrunchie but it just has a lash by logo on it so those are probably the most disappointing so that's four five and then six is actually very nice it is their whisper light dual sided whisper light flexible bond in clear and black but i think this is their mini one. Oh yeah it is it's so cute i love this glue my sister loves this glue this is my sister's favorite glue and she she still has the original one that i gave her when i first started trying lash fight and i'm gonna give this to her for christmas because she loves it a lot so i'm just gonna like add it to her little gift that number seven was also kind of disappointing it's the lashify headband which actually i feel like i will get use out of this to kind of keep my hair out of my face when i'm doing my makeup okay box number eight is probably my favorite i think it's called the birdie if i'm not mistaken i actually wanted to try this myself because i read that the wand or the curvature of the wand is a little bit smaller than the original and the prongs are a little bit smaller i feel like the curvature of the original is way too curved for my eye shape like this would be a lot better yeah this one's definitely a lot better almost a good fit the lash five one is just it's way too curved for my eye shape so this is probably my favorite one and then the last thing is wandoms if i could go back i probably honestly wouldn't purchase it again i would 100 percent go for the flavor boxes especially the ones that had like the tulips the plushies in them i feel like that was such a good deal but those sold out so fast i had no idea they would sell out that fast i mean i should have known considering the price i just feel like the money spent wasn't worth it i do think that you are getting your money's worth like if you combine the price of everything in here it's going to be more than what you paid for just for the advent calendar but i just don't think that it's it's worth it in my opinion but yeah that's just my personal thoughts my husband is making dinner or something and the house is smelling like chicken but I was going to go to the store and pick up some 
floral wire, which I actually still might do because it stopped raining and it's not supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm hoping overnight the pine can dry so I can finally do this garland. Thanks for my chicken sandwich. Got some cozy cozies on. This is the Walmart cardigan, by the way. And I'm telling you, it's probably the coziest thing. Oh, I got it dirty. And then the scarf is Amazon and these are actually my daughters from H&M. But I remember that I have to get some wrapping paper as well because I ran out of that. If you watched what will be yesterday's vlog, I still have to finalize it and upload it. I was wrapping their presents and I ran out of wrapping paper. So I think I'm gonna go either to the dollar store or Walmart. I decided to order a chai latte. The first time that I ordered it, they didn't have um, brown sugar or the chai concentrate so I got something else so I'm really excited to try the chai I feel like I'm full on caffeine but I do love a good chai if my coffee was this color I would be like immediately no I mean I would still take it and be like thank you so much have a great day <laughs> but this is a chai so this is not coffee this is a chai chai is supposed to be light just letting you guys know Mm, and I did it with oat milk, so it's like super thick and creamy. Like it has, you know how oat milk has like that creaminess to it? I read that if you sip your drinks from the side, you don't really gotta worry about like, the smoker's lines. It was actually really good. Mm-hmm. I like it. All right, let's go inside. The rain is not letting up this weekend. But I got basically everything that I needed. It took a while to, they don't really have that many great um, wrapping paper options. So I just picked this one up. It's like plaid with red, green, and blue. It is what it is. Then I got some green ribbon. Hopefully it's going to be enough. I only have a few packages to wrap. And I also got some stocking stuffers for the kids. I have some at home already in their stockings. But they've been, every time I go to the store they ask me for these. So I'm going to put it in their stockings and then I also got some items to make a festive matcha drink which I'll probably do in tomorrow's vlog because I just had way too much coffee and then the chai which I've come to the conclusion that this is not that good like I don't know what it is it's it has like this interesting aftertaste that I'm not crazy about I don't know if it's their chai concentrate because when I tried the cookie butter um, coffee in the in a coffee it was really good but I got my floral wire but back to the matcha the matcha is essentially there's a local coffee shop back in New York that does like festive holiday drinks throughout the holiday season and I saw on their menu they posted they have a I'm not sure what it's called but it's essentially white chocolate matcha so it's a matcha with a white chocolate and crushed candy canes on top so instead of getting white chocolate syrup, I decided to get some white chocolate peppermint lint chocolates. I feel like that'll be like a nice flavor addition to the matcha. And then some crushed candy canes to crush on top. And we'll try that tomorrow and see how we like it. I just finished wrapping all of the presents. I mean, I'm not like a professional or anything, but this wrapping paper is actually really cute. This plaid one from Hallmark and it's recyclable. So that's great. But yay for all the presents finally being all wrapped. We are all done with that. Let me put on my slippers. I know I said I wasn't going to make a white chocolate matcha with the peppermint crumbles. We're going to do a little test run today. So I'm boiling some water. I have some matcha powder here. And we're going to try it out. ever been it safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow. That's actually really nice. The more I drink the matcha, the more I really liked it. But I'm gonna finish off the vlog here. I actually have, I was looking through my Amazon orders. My daughter got to my Kindle and sh I got an email saying like, thank you for your Amazon Kim Unlimited Kindle purchase. And I'm like, what? What is this? Luckily they were able to um, refund me. I reached out to customer service and they canceled that. And I just put like a pin code on it. I was looking through my other orders and I ordered a new cover girl foundation that I'm really excited to share about. I follow Trend Mood on Instagram and they have really great new releases that they share about and this is one of them. So it's like these little balls. A lot of people say it reminds them of Chanel just from looking at it. I've never tried Chanel but I'm really excited to see 
um, how that's going to be. So I want to do that video of that all on its own. But for today's vlog, I'm clocking out. I, oh my gosh, my lens is dirty this whole time. Thank you guys once again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it and I really hope to see you guys in the next vlog. Tomorrow.